Am I a bad person for doing this? This was definitely not inspired by the coronavirus epidemic. Okay, maybe a little bit. But you know what? Creating rolls of toilet paper will teach us some amazing skills in Blender. As you can see here, we are going to be creating this animation. The roll of toilet paper actually goes down in size. And it's about the skills and techniques and the method and the madness, some will say, that we are going to learn here. So this is going to be really, really cool. And since the world is running out of toilet paper, now we can make our own in Blender. Alright, so let's get right to it. Has it really come to us making animations of toilet paper? I guess so. Alright, in a new scene, add a ground plane, then add in a cylinder, rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees, and bring it up. Then go ahead and hit Shift S, we're going to select cursor to select it, and then Shift A, add a curve, Bezier curve. In edit mode, tab, go ahead and grab the segments, E to extrude, R to rotate, and S to scale, and draw out a curve wherever you want your roll of toilet paper to roll in. Sweet! All right, now that we got that, we're just going to go ahead and tweak it a little bit. And now with the cylinder selected, let's select the cylinder. We're going to go in edit mode, select both of these faces, and hit the I key to inset it, and then X, delete the faces. Then go into edge select mode, Alt, Shift, left click these two edge loops, right click, bridge edge loops, and boom, there we go. Shade smooth, and it looks terrible, so add a modifier, edge split, and boom, there we go. It looks a lot better. Now we want it to follow along the beautiful path that we made, so select a follow path constraint and select Bezier curve as the object to follow. Then click animate path. Now we want the origin to be in the same spot as the curve, so select the toilet paper and we're going to hit shift S and select selection to cursor and place it in the same spot. Then with the toilet paper selected, we could play it with the spacebar and you can see that's following along but not exactly. So select follow curve on the, the constraint and you can see it follows better. But we also need to change it to the X axis so go ahead and do that. Now we're going to rotate this first segment so that's not so crooked in the beginning and boom we got toilet paper moving. However we want it to roll so split the viewport and in the second window here we're going to change it to the graph editor. And as you guessed it, we're going to go to frame 1, hit I in front view, and insert a rotation keyframe. Then go to frame 20, and we want to hit the N key to bring up the rotation parameters right here. And we want to change these values on here, otherwise it doesn't work in the viewport. We're going to go ahead and go to to the Y rotation right here and change it to 360. So put this all the way to 360 and hit the I key with your mouse hovered over it to insert a keyframe. And now it will rotate 360 degrees. However, we can't see it, so add in a plane and parent that plane to the roll of toilet paper just so we could see it uh, spinning. With Control p you could parent it. And look at that! However, it's not spinning the rest of the curve, so to do that we're going to add a cycles modifier. With the roll of toilet paper, go over here to the Y rotation graph. And we're going to go ahead and select Y rotation, hit the N key to bring up the properties here on the left. And we're going to go to modifiers, add modifier cycles, and boom, check it out. Now it cycles continuously. With this keyframe at frame 20, let's bring it down to frame 10. And you can see by doing that, it makes the roll go a lot faster. All right, now we're going to create the cardboard inside. Go into edit mode, select all these faces, shift D to copy them, right click, E to extrude, right click, and then S, shift Y to scale them on all the axes except the Y axis. Then control L to select all the linked, and then S, Y to scale it up a little bit on the Y axis and make it stick out like so. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and add in some materials to this. Let's go to the material tab over here, add a new material, and also go to material shading mode. Add a new material, add a second one, and on the second one make it a brownish color. Go into edit mode and assign all these vertices to that second one. Sweet! Now we want to make it go down in size. To do that, we're going to go to the shape keys, add a shape key under the vertex data, a basis shape key, and we're going to add in a second shape key. Bring the value all the way to 1, and then in edit mode, we want to alt left click all these face loops right here, and then hit S, shift Y to scale them on all the axes except the Y axis, and like that. Now check it out, if we change this value, it will increase or decrease. On frame 1, insert a keyframe of value of 0, and now we want to see the speed and how our animation is. Right now, it's a little bit fast, but I'm going to extrude out this curve right here and you can see it's playing way too fast so to change the speed of the animation go to the curve settings over here and under path animation we're going to change the frames to 200. Now if we play it you can see it's a lot slower. Sweet! So at frame 200 we know it's the end of the animation we're going to go to our 
uh, basis shape key or our key one and put a value of one and insert a keyframe at a value of one and now it's going to go down in size. How cool is that? However, we have an issue, but first we're going to add in a black material to our floor so that we can see the difference and we're going to go ahead and bring the plane all the way to where the curve is so that it's at the same level. Now I'm going to grab the roll of toilet paper and bring it up on frame one and like that and hit the I key and insert a location keyframe. And then if we play it, you can see it's fine. However, as it starts to lose its size, it's way above the ground floor. So let's go to frame 200 and you can see if we select the Z location graph by moving this, it goes up and down. So here, all we have to do on frame 200 is hit G, Z and bring it down to the floor and then just hit the I key, insert a location keyframe for there. And now if we play it, it goes and as it's losing its size, it stays to the floor. How cool is that? Super cool. Now what we want to do is go ahead, we're going to add in that uh, toilet paper on the floor. To do that, we're just going to select the curve, shift S, cursor to selected, make sure that's there. Then go ahead, I'm going to say, uh, clear up the space, add a plane. And with this plane, we're going to go to add modifier, add an array modifier. Aha, the old array trick. Increase the count and also add a curve modifier and select busier curve. Now, what we're going to do is on frame one, we're going to go ahead and put the value of one on the array and hit the I key to insert a keyframe. Go to frame 200 and increase the value on the array all the way there and insert a keyframe. So now check it out. However, we got that. We got a problem. It looks like stop motion toilet paper because it's kind of not following along very smoothly. So to do that, all we're going to do is select the plane and in edit mode, or in object mode, scale it on the x-axis way down. Now all we have to do is go back to frame 200 and increase the array count so that it matches the toilet paper and hit the I key to insert a keyframe there. And you can see that it's smoother. However, we got an issue where at the back of it, it's not even touching it. So in object mode, G, X, and bring it right under the roll of toilet paper like that. And it's all about tweaking really on this kind of animation. And you can see that it looks pretty good now. However, it's sticking out a little bit right there. So to fix that, we're going to go into edit mode, scale it down even more on the X axis and add in two loop cuts here with control R. Because we've added two loop cuts and scaled it so small on the X axis, it conforms a lot better. So go to frame 200, increase the count and insert a keyframe. Now you will see that it plays a lot better. Awesome. And we got a flapping wing to go along with it. Talking about that, let's go ahead and delete that. All right, a couple things we're going to do. We're going to add some texture to the inside roll. So select that material for the inside cardboard roll, split the viewport, and go to the shader editor. Hit Shift A, add in a texture, noise texture, and then we're going to connect the color to the normal input right there. Shift A, add vector, bump, and place that right there. Change it from the normal to the height. Now, if you play around with the strength, it will increase or decrease the strength of that but we also need to increase the scale of the noise texture and then decrease the strength so that it looks more like cardboard, just like that. And of course, increase the roughness so it's not so shiny, sweet. Now for the toilet paper, what we're gonna do is head on over to textures.com, search for toilet paper and use this texture right here. Download the uh, albedo normal map and the roughness map. So just go ahead and download those. Once you've done so, go back into Blender, go to the first material, and we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, Add-on, and search for Node Wrangler. Enable the Node Wrangler add-on, and if we hit Control-Shift-T, we could select, hit Control-Shift-T, and then go to your folder, select all those images with left-click and Shift-Left-Click, and select Add Images. And boom, it does it automatically for you, and nothing more to do. Sweet! Now we're going to select this little strip right here and hit control A, apply the scale. And then we need to add a material to it, but let's also unwrap it. And then we're going to select that strip, shift, select the roll of toilet paper, control L, copy the materials and have that material on that strip as well. Now you can see that's unwrapped and it only takes a little bit of the paper because it's so small on the X axis. However, it's still got some nice detail. Sweet. And so does the roll of toilet paper. Awesome, we got some toilet paper, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see how this plays. Beautiful. I never thought we'd be making toilet paper in Blender, but hey, there's a first. All right, let's select this, add a plane, 
parent it to the object again because I want to show you that at the end it continues rotating and we don't want that. So go over here, go to the graph editor, go back to the cycles modifier on the roll of toilet paper and select restrict frame range and put the end frame to 200. So that at frame 200 it stops cycling. We could go ahead and delete that plane now. We're actually going to change this to frame 220 and then with this roll selected we could go to frame 220 and then hit G X twice and bring it out. So it kind of rolls away from the paper and insert a location keyframe. And check it out. We now have toilet paper. Sweet. Now we want to give the curve a little bit of randomness. So select the curve, hit tab to go into edit mode, A to select everything, right click subdivide a couple times, three or four or five times, and then select two or three handles. So I'm going to select one there, one here and one there. Turn on proportional editing with the O key and change it to random. And then hit G, Z and increase the influence with the mouse wheel. G, Z and hold down the shift key to barely move it up just a little bit. And you will see that randomizes it. Now by hand you just need to bring up some of the segments so that they're not in the floor. And if we play it, now this gives it a little bit of bumpiness and randomization. However, it's way too much right now. It's kind of uh, bouncing around. So redoing that, G, Z with the proportional editing, hold down shift and barely move it up just a tiny bit. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you make a roll of toilet paper in Blender. Of course, you could exaggerate this really, really much really much great English you can exaggerate this a lot like that so it's like a roller coaster of toilet paper of course you need to adjust the uh, the array of the toilet paper now one thing that helps with the conforming of the toilet paper on the floor is to really scale it down the x-axis and play around with that and also the array amount but that's it obviously this is not the final result with it being this much on the curve and this bumpy but you get the point that is how you make a roll of toilet paper in blender hit the thumbs up button for this video subscribe to this channel i post almost daily uploads and tutorials on here and of course check out the community over at blendermania3.com join the contests and the community over there ciao for now au revoir